We are very pleased to call in via telephone our Mideast expert, Dr. Waleed Ferris. Uh, Waleed, as always, we welcome you to America's Forum. Thank you so much for having me this morning. Waleed, we have heard so much about uh, the airstrikes. Uh, what was your initial reaction when you heard they were launched? Well, last night when they were l launched, I I, uh, I was on Fox, and uh, I mentioned two, two things that were important to me. One is the formation of this new Arab bloc, which I coined as a quasi-Arab NATO, but the heart of that bloc was Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain, Jordan. One additional member was not really with the team, but uh, is coordinating with us, that's Qatar. One member should have been there, is not there, is Egypt. So the formation of that bloc is an indication that these countries now feel that the threat is very near, very close, and they took a risk because by doing so, they're going to attract a lot of reactions by jihadists, by ISIS and others. And the second point, quickly, is the fact that I'm concerned about and following very closely, and we'll see what the president will talk about, is who is going to be fighting on the ground because you could pound ISIS from the air. It has been a very strong work by, uh, by our forces. Now, on the ground, there are two forces ready to move if ISIS is, is weakened. One is the Syrian regime and Hezbollah, and two is basically the unorganized Syrian opposition, the FSA. So in the next few hours are going to be important to determine who's going to be moving on the ground, if any. Waleed, there is a third element to the airstrikes that I think we should talk about, and that is the report that there was a solo American strike on the group known as Khorasan. Tell us more about that group and when we hear that this attack was undertaken because it was believed this group was going to strike the homeland imminently, uh, their capabilities, what does that tell us about them? Well, Congressman, we don't know much about it. The government is not releasing a lot of information. What we know from other sources is the group Khorasan is basically a number of jihadists who started with al-Qaeda, who then specialized, quote-unquote, specialized in targeting the U.S. homeland and other Western allies. They're not very interested in activities on the ground in the Middle East, but here they have been in touch with jihadists who are residing in the West, uh, and they're trying to mobilize lone wolves or cells within the West. Now, that uh, the Pentagon targeted them as they were targeting ISIS, that's a good thing, because it happened that their bases, according to information, are or were in Syria. So it was good to target ISIS, the Khorasan group, and of course, one branch of Al-Qaeda, all in one package. Waleed, correct me if I'm wrong, but the very nature of a lone wolf attack is to have someone who has infiltrated, someone who has come in, either through a prearranged signal or some event taking action. In other words, as valuable as the airstrikes may have been long term against this new group, it is certainly plausible that if there are lone wolf attackers in the United States and our own government says an attack was imminent, uh, I'm not trying to, to breed panic here, but they're, they're, the logical conclusion is that, that something may come very soon. Look, you, you have a great point, Congressman, because while we are striking in Syria the basis of this network, of, of this huge network, this does not mean that we are also having effects in the United States. But the Air Force assets will, will strike where it can, and those strikes are going to be in Syria or in Iraq. Here you're absolutely right. The concern is that those, those lone wolves, those individuals, and at some point could be teams of two or three, uh, are not connected really physically to the mothership in the Middle East, and they may take a chance. So I think the government knows about the possibility of an action taken against us by a potential lone wolf jihadist in our midst. We'll have to leave it right there. Dr. Waleed Ferris, as always, we appreciate your insights and analysis, and we look forward to talking to you again quite soon. Thank you so much.